So um, a bit more about, rather than talking about computer animation, um, about your university life, I suppose. So can you talk to me about um, sort of like university halls, living arrangements, uh, how much money you've got to spend, what you spend your money on, that sort of stuff. Yeah, the joke is that all the students are broke and yeah. <laughs> no, um, honestly, my first year's joke was um, that students, you can define the first year in uh, Google Maps and pasta. Google Maps because you need to find out where you are all the time and pasta because that's the easiest thing to cook. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it, there is a lot of options about accommodation. So you can live in halls, uh, but you can also live in houses or rent, rent privately if you want to. Um, I always lived in houses because uh, the only reason why I went straight to a house, it was university managed, it was one of the student uh, accommodation at the university, but uh, yeah, it was a house just shared by other, with other students because that was the cheapest option. <laughs> and I was going, I wasn't prepared, right? I was going straight like month after I called the university, so I had no idea what to do. And that was the cheapest, so uh, it was easiest for me. But halls are a great experience if you are more social and you want to have this, like, uh, you want to party a little bit, meet your friends and see other people in the same place. Also, a nice thing is uh, if you don't like people that you end up in a flat with in your first year, you can always go to next door to someone else yeah. and just hang out there, um, which is a bit better in halls. Also, in Bournemouth, all of the halls are most of them. There is one hall like in Cork House, which is in Poole, which is very far away. And it's not a good idea <laughs> uh, because it's amazing, it's really good, but only if you like quiet space, I would say, because uh, it's really far away. That's the only disadvantage. And all of the other halls are located in town centre, kind of, in Lansdowne. So uh, you have access to all your friends nearly because most of the students live there. So you can just, uh, I don't know, knock on someone's door and, and just go up somewhere in yeah. normal circumstances, maybe not now. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of a really good thing to, to have. Also, yeah, like I mentioned, also you're in the town centre, so if you can't cook, take away <laughs> and everything is just closer. Yeah. Uh, and the beach in our instance too, because uh, there is the sea in Borgo. And uh, yeah, all that. And halls are a bit more lively. Of course, they differ among uh, themselves too. So some halls are more, more quiet. Some are completely wild party all the time. Uh, it really depends which ones you choose, but you can always talk to someone before you choose them and like make sure you're making the right choice. Houses are not bad either. Like uh, I had really great experience uh, in my first year with houses. Uh, yeah, it was really good. Uh, also, my house was in the middle of the way from university and to town. So it was great. So I could uh, come back really late and animation works really good. Yeah, <laughs> I was at the university. So I was coming back home uh, when it was already dark sometimes and it wasn't long, it was like 20 minutes walk. And the same is to the town. So I had 20 minutes to town to meet my friends or something and like really good buses and everything. Uh, yeah, the, the only thing is I also had the quiet space in my home. Yeah. Uh, I also could go and party with someone wasn't a problem. Yeah, so that's the thing. So it depends what you prefer, but yeah. Um, Have you got any like funny stories about university that um, only, the sort of things that would only happen at university? Um, God. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I think there is quite a few of those. Yes. I, I, I saw this question someone before and I really liked it. Yes. So um, I think one funny story because, um, yeah, in second year, we usually go and live with our friends, like houses and flats. It's just one thing I wanted to mention here. And my funny story from last year, like from my first year, actually, uh, we made, so I made a house party because everyone else left. It was quite late in May, so some courses already finished. And I think my other housemate was on placement. Someone went out just yet. So I had, I was basically nearly alone in the house. Just one other person, maybe two. And uh, so I made, uh, we made like a house party, which was great, but we uh, like a lot of funny things happened there. For example, my friend, so we brought me and my other Polish friend, we brought like our uh, sweets kind of things, like pretzel sticks. I don't know if you know that. And um, my friend at some point decided that 
it's like bread and who wants to try it with butter and <laughs> they just started trying it with uh, with butter with soy sauce and that's wow. like legendary now everyone remembers this oh, really? <laughs> yeah i think that stuff and we also made pancakes at like 2 a.m and everyone was uh, really happy with those <laughs> But See. other things, I don't know, another thing uh, funny and really specific to animation, because I mentioned before that we spent really long hours in labs sometimes working on our project. So I was a bit shocked in my first year, but then I started doing that too. We just walked in socks, you know, like at you know, the university in labs, because at points people just stopped caring and it was more comfortable, so everyone was just yeah. walking around in socks. And I think that's really, that they're two really good examples of things that you'll always remember as well and quite <laughs> fondly like you're if, if you're not at university you're not gonna get those weird it all in socks moments where um you're just like this is weird but great at the same time you're not gonna see that person dunking a polish breadstick into butter and soy sauce you know it, it's it's a brilliant time of your life where you can just experiment and and sort of relax um, and it does lead to some great fond memories.